Now it's time for Talking with Joe, training camp 2017 style. Joe Rose once again live at Dolphins training camp in Davie this morning. Of course, Joe, the talk of training camp. You were yeah. there. You saw what happened with Ryan Tannehill yesterday, injuring his knee. How did it look to you, and what are you hearing as far as his status at this time? A lot of mixed reports saying no tear or structural damage, but then other people are saying he might need surgery. What's going on? Well, Lauren, I would start with, yeah, I was actually watching in the middle of an interview and standing up and watching practice as he rolled out to his right and was trying to get out of bounds. And as he kind of planted to go out of bounds, you saw him grab it and go down. And right away, obviously, it wasn't good news. And matter of fact, overall, there, there's a lot of moving parts here right now. There is a zillion reports, as you just mentioned last night, that were, that were coming out. The news not good either way for Ryan Tannehill at this point. It was partially torn last year. There was a lot of talk he was going to get the surgery. They decided not to. So a lot of people thought that this could happen anyway at some point. But he'd been running around so well. He looked good. His mobility was fantastic. Having a real nice camp. But uh, the Dolphins have to be looking right now for some other quarterbacks, some veteran quarterbacks to come in. And uh, Matt Moore, of course, played the end of the season and played really well. So they've got Matt Moore, but they do need to get more experience at that position. They've got two young guys behind Matt Moore. But uh, I just can't believe right now that the Miami Dolphins, five weeks away from their opener, are going, yeah, we'll have Ryan Tannehill back and he'll be fine. It's a tough position to play. You're already injured. I think the Dolphins are making plans to move on right now. Tough indeed, Joe. Just yesterday we were talking about Tannehill's confidence and how this was really yeah. his team, so such a tough spot for him to be in at this point. We wish him well no matter what happens and a speedy recovery here. But, of course, as you mentioned, the team needs to continue to look forward. They've got games coming up. So the names we've been hearing, you mentioned, of course, Matt Moore, the trusty backup there. He went into practice yesterday. But almost as many Tannehill tweets as I saw yesterday, I saw Colin Kaepernick tweet saying maybe the Dolphins should call him into play. What do you think? Would that be a good move for the Dolphins at this point? Well, let's go through some of the names, Lauren, if you have time, and that producer doesn't cut me off here because <laughs> it, it isn't a good one to talk about. Colin Kaepernick, of course, anytime you mention him, I call Colin Kaepernick the 50-50 guy. When you talk to people yesterday in the message boards, 50% bring him in, he can help us. 50% want nothing to do with the guy. Obviously, they discussed his name because he's a guy that started last year. He's played a lot of good football with San Francisco. And the other name, and the familiar name to Adam Gase is Jay Cutler, who retired from Chicago Bears to go into Fox Sports and uh, be part of their NFL broadcast. So that name has been discussed. It looks like Jay Cutler would be interested. Reports are he'd be interested in coming but he wants some guarantees. I don't know how much money. You know, when you start talking about starters money in the NFL, it's a lot. He doesn't want to be a backup, obviously, coming out of the TV booth and coming back for that. And Matt Moore, you know, how does Matt Moore fit into this thing and how does he feel? So there's a lot of moving parts with this thing, but the Dolphins are going to have to react over the next few days because the good news is if there is any at all, and there's not, is you've got a month to get somebody ready to mm -hmm. learn your system and prepare them for the start of the season in case they have to come, eat, come in and either play or be a backup and be ready to go. All right, Joe, a lot of decisions for the Dolphins there to be made. I know you will be watching. I will be watching pretty much all of South Florida. We'll be watching to see what's going on yeah. there with Tannehill and what the Dolphins decide to do. Joe, we will talk to you in the next hour more about this and some good news, though, for a former Dolphin, Jason Taylor. We're going to talk about that as well. We'll talk to you soon. Wrap. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> you got it.